there's only about 220 people who've done it. And if you want to take on the toughest challenge there is, that's it. The Sunday Times Golden Globe will be awarded to the first non-stop circumnavigator of the world. I can remember someone coming up to me and saying, you know this Johnny who thinks he can sail solo non-stop around the world. And I said, we're going to try it. It was the first ever round the world yacht race. You know, out of the nine entries, only one finished. But to rerun it under the same conditions makes it very, very interesting. So you're really going back in time. It's not something you do with your mind at this point. You do with your heart and you just try with yourself. This is the longest sport event in sport history. If anyone ever says this is ridiculous, he's being reckless, I'd just say, sorry, he's not. He's being a real seaman. There'll be people that'll say, oh, the boats aren't safe. Do you have to spend a million dollars to buy a 60-footer that does all this fancy stuff? Does the little guy not go? There's no way. The race has held that appeal because these grand authors made it sound really attainable. We're putting in half of everything we own in this race, and it'd be nice to have something left at the end. Miss! Just look at the devastation. Single-handed sailors don't obey rules, so it's a recipe for disaster. Don't come in! I can't make a jury rig. The only thing that's left is a hole. I was just praying somebody would get there before I would. I never thought I was going to see him again. We started with 18 and we're now down to seven. So you're still having fun then? Not to, to come here, it's very difficult. <laughs> we don't need millions, you know, to do sailboat racing. We don't need all that modern technology to fulfill a dream. Then. I'm going to be comfortable, but I'm going to do it. He hasn't given up, that's the bottom line.